Hey guys, Eric from Help Cloud here. Welcome to another Average Joe review. Today we're going to do the GoPro Hero 9 versus Hero 8. As always, check out our merch. We got a new line of Christmas stuff coming out here soon. Pretty excited about that. Also check out the affiliate links in the description here. That's how we earn our money. You click on that, we get commission if you purchase a product on their website or on Amazon. And click the card above if you want to go to my personal channel. I got ski edits, dog edits, general nature edits. The footage from both cameras in this video is going to be raw footage without any color enhancement throughout the entire video. I did this on purpose so that you can tell how it films. Coming up in the video we're going to have our split screen and comparison footage. For this I use the tripod and the special mount that you see here that place both cameras just right next to each other. This makes it so you basically see the same exact thing and any movement happens to both cameras not just one. I was not expecting the new HyperSmooth to be as good as it was, but as you can see in this footage right here, when I was running at a pretty good pace, you can definitely tell the difference between the GoPro Hero 8 and Hero 9. Huge selling point for the Hero 9. on the Hero 8 it is at 51% and you have a 12% difference in battery definitely more time filming
So the question of the video is, is the GoPro Hero 9 worth the upgrade and worth the extra price? Well, on pricing, the Hero 9 costs retail $450, but $350 with the GoPro subscription. And the GoPro Hero 8 costs $350 retail and $300 with the GoPro subscription. So buying the Hero 9 right now with the GoPro subscription is only $50 more than if you were to get the same bundle with the Hero 8. So they're trying to really sell this right now. Just to touch on a few things about both the Hero 9 and the Hero 8. Obviously the battery on the Hero 9 is larger. On my hike when I used it all day, it definitely was lasting longer than the Hero 8 battery. They're not huge batteries so you can easily put an extra couple in your pocket and you'd be good for an entire day of good filming. I do still love how small the Hero 8 is. It's definitely smaller and more compact. I love the feel of it. Super easy to carry around when I wanted to put it in my jacket while I was skiing. So we'll see with the Hero 9 if I have that same sort of feel or if it's just a little bit too much weight or size, but really I don't think it is. I think it's worth the trade-off you get with the lens modification and a larger battery and the LED screen on the front. And with the 8, I can't even see if I'm in frame or not, I assume I am. But with the 9, I can fit other things into my brain, like adjust the lighting by moving it because I can see that I'm dark. Getting cliff faces. Oh, excuse moi. As I said earlier in the video, I was not expecting Hyper Smooth to be as good as it was. And the same goes for Time Warp. Time Warp 3.0 is definitely better than Time Warp 2.0. One thing that I'm super excited about that I haven't got yet because it isn't out yet is the Max Lens mod. It's going to be really cool to see how wide that angle is and how big of a difference it makes. Also a big upgrade to talk about obviously is the 23.6 megapixel sensor which allows Hero 9 to shoot a higher resolution video up to 5K. So what's the bottom line? Yes, the Hero 9 is worth the upgrade, especially if you buy it with a GoPro subscription right now. It's worth it for things like the lens interchanging capability. So you'll now have the Max Lens Mod. Two very important things to me is Hyper Smooth and Time Warp. I love those features, and both of them are substantially better for me on Hero 9. And now you can film 5K if you're into that. And finally, the LED screen on the front was a game changer as well. That was awesome for me to see what I was filming when I was doing some selfie mode and I could easily change a frame, get stuff in the frame that I thought I had, change the lighting, etc. So buy the Hero 9 if you're debating the Hero 9 versus the Hero 8. Thanks for watching the video, do the normal stuff, like, subscribe and watch another video and we'll see you on the next one.